Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're so happy to be back with you again. We are so excited to have new subscribers and we want to say welcome to everyone. As you know, we like to get started right away, so we've already prepped this 12 by 36 inch canvas with what I call my three quarter, my three quarter layout split. The block we have here is the Flick, I'm um, the Artist Loft um, Floor Acrylic Black. This creamy color that we have here is a combination of the Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown along with the Artist Loft Floor Acrylic Metallic Gold along with the um, Blit Acrylic Titanium White. So we took some of the Blit Acrylic Titanium White, added some of the Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown along with the Artist Loft Floor Acrylic Metallic Gold to get this creamy, um, it's sort of a sand-like color, really pretty. We're gonna be using the split, the three-quarter split that we have here to do our design on, but we're going to start by popping air bubbles and looking for any un uninvited guests, any foreign debris that could have found its way into our foundational paint. We always want to pop the air bubbles. We always want to look throughout the entire process for any uninvited guests. Okay. Well, we're going to introduce the colors now, and again, I have not used this combination before, but I'm excited because have you ever given yourself a gift? I think we all have from time to time. And today I'm giving myself a gift. This is going to be a gift to me. This 12 by 36 inch canvas using colors that I haven't used before, obviously, but I love. So we're going to see what we could do to play with them. Let's introduce them. We have the Blit Acrylic Raw Sienna, Artist Loft Copper, Liquitex Basics Bronze, Artist Loft Old Gold, the Golden Iridescent Pearl, the Liquitex Basics Raw Sienna, Liquitex Basics Burnt Umber, and Golden's Iridescent Fine Deep Gold. Again, haven't used these before. Gonna see what we have to make, uh, hopefully, an amazing design from. We're gonna start with our raw sienna. And I'm gonna start here on this edge here. Come in down our center area there. I'm going to take and do, do a line out to that direction, and a line in the middle, a line out to the very edge. Okay? And then we're going to follow that pattern with the other colors. I'm excited because <laughs> this is really going to be um, a lot of colors. We've got eight colors, I believe, here not including the base color, so I guess you could say we've got about 10 if we include the base color. But I'm just I'm using colors that I hope will come together very nicely and give us a rich, rich outcome. And if you see me go back over something, it's generally because I feel I didn't get enough of a squeeze on it, and I wanna make sure that there's pretty much a level amount of paint, even its distribution of paint across the canvas. Well, these are looking quite amazing so far, so we'll see what they bring us. I am absolutely in love with this pearl, golden, fine, iridescent pearl. 
It has just done some spectacular things and I'm super, super happy to use it. You do not have to, by any means, use as many colors as I'm using in order to do a, a very decent or beautiful Dutch board. I switch it up. Sometimes I use three colors. Sometimes I use five, six colors. I don't really um, take too much of an inventory of that as much as I look for how much fun I want to have when I'm painting. So you do it your way and don't be caught up into how other people do it. It's up to you. Now I will say with this deep brown, I'm not wanting to see a lot of that. So I'm kind of doing a little thin, a little thin coating of the deep brown. And it's not because I don't like it. I just don't want to have muddiness occur if I can avoid it. But as I was saying, you know, I hear so many people say they struggle with the Dutch pour, and I get it. I struggled at one time. It's not an easy thing. It looks super simple, and it looks like, oh my gosh, you should be able to do this because it is not that hard. Well, it isn't that hard. It just takes practice, and it takes a lot of determination to stick with it until you come out with something that you really, really can be proud of. Okay, so here we have all the colors laid out. We're going to torch because we want to pop air bubbles and keep them to a minimal as much as possible. Eliminating where we can right off the bat. Always, always looking for those uninvited guests as well. They show up sometimes when we least expect. Even after we torch, we've looked and we torch and we've gone back over it. Looks like I can see something possibly here. Let's see. Yep, there you go. An uninvited guest. Got to get them when we can. Get them when we see them. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to start, and I say we guys because you're in this with me. I hope that you can take time to practice these, um, whether you use this color palette or one of your own, maybe use this design. I'm not sure what you choose to do, but I hope you can feel like you're a part of this with me. All right, uh, so we're gonna take, and my first thought is to blow out this way, just this section here, that way. I'm gonna go with it, see what happens. If I switch up, it's because I'm feeling I need to do something differently. Okay, so let's try it. pause for a minute and just say that so far so good on low I may switch it up again here I don't know just kind of depends Pop a couple air bubbles while I see them this is very very pretty very rich I'm loving this burnt seat and okay we're gonna move in this direction and I'm gonna try to come down we'll see how it goes
well. <laughs> I am happy that I'm doing this for me because I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. And that's what this is about, loving your art. I am loving how the colors, the richness of that burnt sienna, along with the copper and the raw sienna. Actually, I said burnt sienna, but it's two raw siennas. The raw sienna by Blit Acrylic and the raw sienna by the Liquitex Basics have just made for, with all the other colors, super gorgeousness. Super, super pretty. We're going to torch where we see air bubbles. Beautiful. It's just gorgeous. I'm loving how the copper and the, um, we have gold and copper. We've got beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is so amazing. Just amazing. We have a um, few drips here that we're going to let go off and then we're going to take our swipe stick and just go over everything to help bring the, the um, canvas to rest. These are the little Panna brand um, makeup tools. They're plastic, reusable. I love, love, love them. They come in a pack of 50 for about five bucks from Amazon. Now, I'm not an Amazon affiliate. I'm just sharing with you what works for me and I like it. So pass it on. All the goodness is what we're doing. Just passing on all the goodness, things that work. And if you have suggestions or ideas that work, please feel free to share them. We'd love to hear from you. We are going to do this more than once, obviously, but for the first go round, we're doing it because we need to help bring this design to rest. As long as the paint is moving off the edges, it may be doing an amazing thing to you, but it is changing and shifting your design. And we wanna prevent that where we can, as much as possible. We wanna prevent it from continuously moving. We want this design to be the ultimate design that we end up with, and that's why we want to wipe underneath. We capture excess paint and give ourselves a chance to see this beautiful design, design come to rest. I am so happy about it. These colors are super amazing. They have exceeded my expectation, and I'm pleased to say so. So let's bring you in for a close-up so you can see what we're talking about. Here we are, my friends. We got our close-up of this 12 by 36 inch canvas, and it is one big beauty. I'm so pleased with it. Let's look at it real close. Look at the iridescent colors on top of the black, and I love, love, love the richness of the cells, the lovely pearl, iridescent, the copper, the raw siennas, golds, just amazing colors. And you see we put enough brown in there so that it would, it would not be overloaded and over powerful, but just enough to give it some rich, smooth color. So, so pleased with that. No muddiness at all, just pure, gorgeous beauty. Look at the raw sienna, our bronze and our coppers, all blending so beautifully together. I'm loving it. Look at that streak of copper there. Those gorgeous iridescent cells on top of black. Really beautiful. All right, and we're moving up to the top where we started. This is right at the beginning right in this area here. Love, love, love it. That raw sienna looks like a yellow and it's just really standing out so pretty by itself. And that's the raw sienna by Blit Acrylic. Lovely, lovely, lovely cells. Look at the corner here. Look how pretty that is. 
Oh my heavens. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Pure beauty and I'm loving it because this is for me. Sometimes we need to do some things for ourselves and this is just for me. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. So appreciate your being here each and every time you make a difference. We love it and we appreciate the support you're giving. Come back and see us each time. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. We appreciate you being a part of our art journey. And if you're loving and benefiting from this, this channel, go ahead and do the right thing. Subscribe. That would be so appreciated. Until next time, keep loving your art. And we will see you all on our very next video upload. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Bye now.